Hello, my name is Akwete Watkins. I teach uh, physics, robotics, and an introduction to aviation class uh, in the high school. And I'm here to talk to you today about the fastest way to get around. Uh, a couple years ago, I came across this uh, quote from Walden. It said, I've learned that the swiftest traveler is he that goes by foot. And he was talking about people getting around in the late 1800s. A farmer would maybe work for three days to save enough money to buy a ticket to take a train somewhere. But uh, his argument was, wow, if that farmer just started walking, he would actually get there in only a day. So the fastest way is just to go ahead and just start walking. And so it kind of uh, started me thinking about maybe in modern day Atlanta, maybe the fastest way to get around would be to walk, or maybe even better to go by bike. So here's a little snapshot of my ride home on some days, heading northbound through Atlanta. We're all pretty familiar with this. And it uh, got me thinking about uh, maybe a better way to spend my time. We're all trying to balance uh, getting around town, taking care of our family. And one thing I like to do is work out two or three days a week. So like all good engineers, I put together a spreadsheet and compared the time it took for me to drive to work, drive home, drive to the gym, change my clothes, work out, change my clothes again, take a shower, and drive back home versus if I just hopped on a bike and just went ahead and used it as my form of transportation and my form of recreation and fitness. It turned out I actually saved time every week by biking to work. So why doesn't everyone bike everywhere all the time? So there's a couple concerns. The first one is it takes too long. Well, according to my spreadsheet, it doesn't actually take longer than if you, um, if you drove to work. Uh, my kids, I do have two children go here to this school. I do drive them to school most days, but I do a carpool with some other families, so it takes them one or two days a week. It allows me to bike to work. Showers, I do shower every day. Um, <laughs> But you can shower at home, or fortunately there's showers here at school, so I just shower once I get to school, I wear cycling clothes, but once I get here, I shower, put on my professional clothes, and then start my day from there. But the big concern is always the danger in Atlanta. Atlanta roads are very dangerous. So I wanna to talk to you a couple minutes about the danger and the perceived danger of cycling to get around. So if we look at the whole country, 35, over 35,000 people a year were killed in car crashes. And they're so common that they're actually not reported on the news, because the news only reports things that are uncommon. And so many people a year die on the, on the roadway. And about 817 cyclists are killed nationwide. But if we look down at Georgia, uh, about 13, uh, 1,300 people were killed by car, and about 23 were killed while cycling. And so 85% of the cyclists who were killed did not have a helmet on. So whenever I cycle, I always make sure I put a helmet on and make sure my family wears a helmet. So only about four people in all the state of Georgia died last year from cycling who are wearing their helmet. So there's many ways to interpret these numbers, but the way I chose to interpret them was maybe cycling isn't as dangerous as maybe we think it is compared to other risks. So according to the CDC, what's actually going to kill you? So what's actually gonna get you is heart disease, cancer, cardiovascular things, Alzheimer's, kidney failure, and unfortunately suicide. These are the top 10 killers in America. And so many of us are familiar with the research that says physical activity and cycling will reduce your risk of dying from many of these things, makes you more physically fit, more mentally alert. And so by cycling to work, you're greatly reducing your risk from dying from the things that are actually going to kill you. And maybe you feel a little better when you're getting around town. So I used to work for an aircraft company, and I work with students here to build robots. And we kind of have a little slogan, fast, good, and cheap, pick two. You can never have all three. But as I was thinking about getting around town in Atlanta, I think maybe cycling to work might be the one and only chance that all three of these can be true at the same time. You can get there good. You get there feeling mentally more alert, mentally more healthy, more physically fit. You get there cheaply, maybe save a little bit in gas, and you can also get there faster as well. So next time you have to get around Atlanta or go someplace, I encourage you to go the fastest way, walk there, or maybe go ahead and take a bike. Thank you very much.